Hello, my gorgeous, delicious, addictive cherubs. Thank you very much to all of you who subscribe to my channel. That's the first thing I'd like to say. I don't make anything from this. I don't make a penny. And even though we're coming out of COVID, I have no intention of giving up. I hope that doesn't make any of you give up the will to live. <laughs> Sorry, because I do go on a bit in my videos, but I just love sharing and freely sharing because things are so hard for people out there and there's such massive waiting lists for therapists and diagnoses and all these things. And I am more than happy, you know, I mean, I'm not exactly rolling in it either, but I just think the riches that come from sharing are worth so much more than pounds in the bank. And I mean that, I mean that with all my heart. So there's many, many more videos to come. But what I really wanted to share with you today is a little bit of something called EFT. And EFT is something called Emotional Freedom Technique. And it's absolutely powerful and, and very gentle, but it, it's, Fabulous for changing that mindset, that memory in your cells, that memory in your water. Even your immune system has its own memory, its own DNA. So this is really, really powerful. And when you combine touch with words, with thoughts, it's neural dynamite. It is. So even if you're not emotional freedom technique trained, you can share this on a friends and family basis. Or if you're a massage therapist, I don't think there's anything wrong with adding a little bit of that or showing someone how to do it for free for themselves and sharing it with families because the more you share, the better. And there's, and I am, I love, I love it when I come across inspiring people. I'm much better about shouting out about them than I am about myself, you know. And I love it. I love it because I think, why not? We should celebrate each other. And I've noticed since COVID, my big hope being the naive, childlike, silly person that I am at times, I really, really thought humanity would reach out more to humanity. And my experience outside of my work and the wonderful people I meet is that actually, even though we're not in physical bubbles anymore, in people's mindsets, we really, really are. And it's time to reach out, and share stuff, and especially touch, because apart from anything else, it boosts immunity. And if you can do it for yourself, you are not breaking any guidelines or on a friends and family basis. So there's a lot to EFT, and I couldn't possibly condense that into one video, but a really good place to start if you have a child, particularly with autism or ADHD, who are not just going to sit there and you're going to say, right, I'm going to teach you some EFT. Then, you know, they're just going to look at you and say, seriously, I'm not going to sit still at all. And actually, that's not the way to approach anyone with ADHD, autism or pathological demand avoidance anyway. Or any child, I wouldn't approach anyone like that, whatever their label, you know, whatever jam flavour they are on their little labels. I don't approach anyone like that. But there's an amazing man called Brad Wills and he has a Facebook site where you can log in and it's all for free. And he also has a YouTube channel and he's written a book called A Wizard's Wish. And it's absolutely brilliant. And if you log on to Anna Kennedy online later this week, because I write an article for her as a charity wellbeing ambassador every single week, I'll actually post a copy of that book so you can access it because it's wonderful and it wraps up this whole tapping technique with in, into a story about a wizard who helps a village where a storm blows in and the people suddenly have yuckies and the yuckies are hilarious actually. There's worry, fear, anxiety, all these things and they're described as little bugs that fall out your ears. But it's a great way to get the kids involved. I often find stories or finding a child's passion and putting the therapies or therapy that I would love to share with them into a story invites them, engages them, you're meeting them where they are. And that really is the key to all my work. I, I, I mean, I might have a session idea, but I never have a plan because I don't know 
where or how I'm going to meet that child before they're here. So it might change. So stories are a great way to do that. So I'm going to share with you now um, a few things. And I'm going to post on Anna Kennedy's website the actual points which I'm going to describe today. And in the future, I'll do another video about some more points that you can tap. But these ones I'm going to share with you today are all to do with exactly those yucky feelings. Things like when we're scared of something, trying something new and we're anxious, friendship issues we're worrying about, anger, frustration. And you know what? It's OK to have those feelings. We're always told, oh, don't be angry, be strong. But sometimes we don't feel like that. And it makes us want to really give the person who said that to us a punch on the nose. I'm supposed to be a calm therapist. Obviously, I don't really do that. But in my imagination, I think, you know what? I could really punch you on the nose. So, but it's much better to just tap yourself instead. So what I'm going to share with you today, first of all, is first of all, you tap just in front of the crown. I never tap the crown itself. The reason being in traditional Chinese medicine, the crown is known as the meeting of a hundred pathways. So it's the beginnings and endings, lots of meridians all the way through the body. And even if somebody doesn't know that they're depressed or has some sort of mental health challenge, if you tapped on there, you could send them into psychosis. So you have to be really, really careful. Also, if anybody has epilepsy, you certainly wouldn't tap their head so that, you know, I don't go anywhere near the crown. So it's very gentle tapping and they can do it themselves. And as it says in Brad Will's, uh, Willis's um, wizard story, if you use two fingers, it's double the strength and it's like a wand. Only this isn't just magic. This is science. So if you just tap on there, you're actually on a still point. And I've massaged this in previous videos, but somebody might not be in the mood for a massage. But if, you, if they're into tap dancing or I don't know, they find this more soothing. It's another tool in your toolbox. I hate that expression. It's a bit overused, but you know what I mean. So you could just tap there. But the important thing when you tap is that you have a positive thought. So if you're feeling really anxious and up on the ceiling and in that state of what they call high arousal, which is where you're absolutely on the ceiling, you are livid, you're, you're worried, you're angry, you're in overwhelm, you're about to hit meltdown. If you just tap on that still point, that's going to help to lower your heart rate and blood pressure and it's going to help you feel more relaxed. I did a little bit of this at the weekend at Autism's Got Talent because some of the performers in St Ives Theatre were feeling very nervous and so I was lucky enough to be invited by the amazing Phil Barnett who does all of his work completely voluntary there with all these incredible kids who I was so blessed and so genuinely humbled and honoured to me. And I mean that. They sound like such overused words, don't they? But I, I was. I don't know what other words to say I was. And I shared some of those techniques. And I shared them with the lady I was supporting. And it works. So when you're feeling anxious or when you're overwhelmed, just think, I am confident I can do this. I am confident I can do this. And tap it in with the two fingers. I am confident I can do this. Another really good place to go, and I've shared this in massage, are the temples, just the sides of the eyes there. And when you massage that, I've always said to you, and you're probably sick of me saying it, I do apologise for those of you who've seen my videos before, that is the temples of the capital city of all your happy hormones and coping chemicals, the four main neurotransmitters who help us feel relaxed, pain-free, anxiety-free, full of confidence, motivation, drive, attention, self-esteem, all those things which are so important. So you can just tap there. If you don't feel like massaging or you haven't got time, just tap there and think, I'm confident I can do this. I'm confident I can do this. It's important you have the same message as you tap it in and you do not need to be qualified to do this. You can do this. You can do this. It's easy. So the other place is in between the eyebrows, just there. And that's a concentration point. So I can focus. I can do this. I've got this. I am confident. I am focused. I can do this. Another place is under the nose there. Just tap it. Just tap it. I'm confident. I can do this. In acupressure, it's an anxiety point. In massage, it's an anxiety point. So when you tap there, you're working on that gut. 
you're working on calming everything down and it really is a really terrific anxiety point and if you can do this on a regular basis it will be even more powerful so keep whatever affirmation it is whatever thing you're battling with keep that in mind and talk about it as if it is in the present so don't say i will be okay i will do this say i i've got it i can do this i can do this i've got this you know or i'm not anxious i'm not frightened i can get over this i am over this you know tap those positive messages in <clears throat> if you're angry under the eyes it's a brilliant one tap under there i can deal with this anger i can deal with this anger i can deal with this anger You've got meridians that run directly into your tummy from your eyes. I've mentioned this on previous videos when I've massaged under there or done acupressure where you just press and release. But if you tap under there, it helps to dissolve, dilute that anger. And I'm not saying it's an instant fix, but if you do this sort of thing on a regular basis, it's going to benefit you enormously. And you are literally taking your mental health in hand and taking back that power. We all get those yucky feelings, all of us do. It's part of the human spectrum, it's who we are, it's part of humanity, and often it's very justified. But remember, 80% of what we're anxious and worried about doesn't happen anyway. So, and 12% of it we can't do anything about. But what we can take in hand is how we react to that stress. So if it's exams, a performance, something new you're going to try, a shift at work that you really don't like going to because you know someone there doesn't get you, a day at school where you know no one gets you, you know, your gifts are never going to be able to come out. Things like that, if you just tapped, it would really, really help. And say these words to yourself because the more you say it, the more you're rewiring the actual neurological pathways in your brain. As Professor Rick Hansen said, what fires the brain, wires the brain. Every day, our minds are building our brains. It's not the other way around. So for any of you who are struggling out there, don't let other people define you. They don't have the right. You know you, that's in your control. What other people say about you is out of your control but how much you take that in is up to you so tap it out tap it out i've used it with loads of kids to huge benefit the final one is tapping your chin i'm overloading you a little bit today i've given you five but i am going to post them on the anna kennedy online website and also on my public facebook group online therapies for kids and families it's totally free to join and you're very very welcome to subscribe um, and I share free therapies every day on there. So if one thing isn't for you, you'll find something that is. It's courses for horses. You know, not everybody likes everything. But everything I share with you are things you can do for yourselves. So it's enormously empowering. It helps you take how you're feeling in hand, your self-esteem, your confidence, your self-belief. So whatever label you have, whether that's an official label or an unofficial label at school or you're the naughty kid, you're the one who's never going to get anywhere. Don't believe that. If you've got a dream, tap it in every day. I am going to be an amazing musician. Yes, I am going to be an amazing performer. Yes, I am going to have that career I want. My son last week, my youngest son last week came home and it was honestly as if he'd been vacuum packed. I mean, he left here full and he arrived back squashed because they'd had a careers day of all things. And I'm sorry, I am going to say it. I'm not naming the school. It's fine because it goes on in every school. And when he said that he wanted to have a career in producing films because he's amazingly creative, really, really good at music. He loves matching music to films. In his own time, he writes the most incredible film reviews. He'd be a wonderful film critic. It is his passion. That's his song. And when he said that in front of the group on the careers day, not only did all his peers laugh, which really, really hurt him, but the teachers laugh and so did the careers advisor. And I haven't really got the words and I don't want to say the words about how I feel about that. 
but I have suggested with my own son, you tap that in, you tap that in, you turn your bedroom into a studio and you are going to get there. No one believed in my second son either. He was written off. Now he's doing a PhD and I was told that would be impossible. So like I always say, pinching Audrey Hepburn's words because I wasn't clever enough to think of that myself. When you're told something's impossible, pop a little apostrophe in between the I and the N because impossible is I am possible and you are possible. And whatever it takes you to get there, do it. Because if you've been where I've been this weekend at Autism's Got Talent, where neurodiversity was so celebrated, it would change your outlook. It would change your world. And I wish when I'd had the diagnoses for all four of my children, they're all neurodiverse, I wish I'd known about Autism's Got Talent and how there are strengths with the challenges. So please, for any of you where school is a walking purgatory, don't stop believing in yourselves. Don't ever stop. You define you. Get the wizard book. Make your own magic. Make your own science. Because it's science. Tap it in. And it's really important you think of those words. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do this. I can do it. And you can. And I passionately believe in you all. And that's why I'm still doing these videos, because I do. You lot are my life. My kids are my life. You lot are my life. This is what I will do till the day I die. I'll probably be having a heart attack or something and trying to make a YouTube video. And I'll probably still be badly behaved. You know what I'm like by now. <laughs> they actually got me up on stage during Autism's Got Talent. And I had no idea it was going to happen. And the first thing I said to Phil Barnett, you know, who organised all this with Anna Kennedy, the founder of... Um, Anna Kennedy online, my, the autism charity I'm an ambassador for. The first thing I said was, oh God, am I in trouble? Because I'm so used to when my name's called out, usually it means something dreadful, usually it means I've misbehaved. And they were very kind about me. I'm not going to say what they said, but they said some really lovely things about me and my work up on stage, which blew me away. And I'd been rained on like hell all day. I looked absolutely dreadful. And I really felt like a fraud being up there because there'd been all this talent but you know what? It was just the most beautiful thing to have had that honour of being invited up. And it meant the world to me. And I didn't care if I looked like hell. It meant the world to me, you know, because it made me feel like I belonged to a family too. Because I've been different all my life. So I get it. I really get it. And that's why I will never stop talking to you. So, <laughs> you poor things. That sounded more like a warning, didn't it? Anyway... I hate to say this bit, but if you'd like to subscribe to my channel or you know anybody else who would benefit, whether they're a professional, a family, a sibling, a child, a young adult, my therapies are for everybody from naught to 120. And hopefully I'll get to do this till I'm 120. So I don't make any money from this, as I said. So if you do subscribe, I am so grateful. It makes what I do worthwhile. And if it can help anybody else who you can think of, believe and have real hope, real hope. I've walked this. I've walked this personally. I've walked this with my children and I now walk it with thousands of other children, literally. And I feel like their mum. So if I can help anybody at all you can think of, please share my YouTube channel and believe just believe. Believe in yourselves. Believe in your kids because they are wonderful and they've chosen you for a reason. And I'm so blessed that I got four to choose me. Anyway, on that note, I'll leave you in peace and I'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful, positive week. Make it your own. Define you. I believe in you. So believe in you too. God bless. Bye bye, everybody.